Welcome to our video on how to set up My Account Preferences using the FAX e-reporting system. By setting up our preferences, FAX will remember details for us making reporting faster and easier. For today's video, I'm going to be using the portal version of the website, which is best viewed on a computer. However, the same setup can be done on the mobile version of the website as well. So first, I'm going to log into my FAX account by entering my username and my password, and then click the login button. After logging on, I'm going to go to the My Account button at the top right-hand corner of the page, which will bring us to the My Account page. Here, we're going to see our system user fields. The first thing we're going to see is our username. Here, you can change your username to whatever is easiest for you to remember. Make any edits to your name. Contact information. Note that by adding a mobile telephone number, you can receive text message reminders and an email for any updates or changes. Next, we're going to see our security detail section. Here, you're going to see your password is already blank, and this is for your password security and protection. Next, we're going to have our password question. So in the event that you forget your password, you can select one of these three questions and give it an answer, and it will retrieve your password for you. If we move down the page some, we're going to see our access roles. Right now, my account is set for Blue Crab and FinFish. We're going to see our landing locations after that. And this is the location where you're going to be offloading your harvest from your vessel. So to add a new landing location, we want to move over to the right-hand side, click the Add New button. We're going to give it a label for our new location, so anything that's easy for you to remember. I'm going to put in My Peer. I'm going to give it a valid street address. I'm going to give it a zip code. And I'm also going to enter in the city. Now that we're done, we want to click the Save button here at the bottom. And now you can see that my peer has been added to my list of landing locations. If we ever need to make changes, we can move over to the right hand side here. The first icon we're going to see is a little pencil, and this allows us to go back and edit our landing location. The next is going to be a minus icon, which removes locations. Now we're going to see our vessels. Here, we have the same option of going over to the right-hand side and doing the Add New button. We're going to enter in our VRN, or our Federally Registered Whole Number, and then we're going to give a name to our vessel. Note, if you do not have a name, you can enter in no name or the make of the vessel. If we move down a little bit further, we're going to see our preferences section. First, for the blue crab, we're going to see our license number, the NOAA code that we generally crab in. Then we're going to select our gear type. Here I have crab pot selected. I'm reporting my pots by each. But if I had selected trot lines, I could either report the feet or yards of my trot line. Next, we have our hard crab units. We can select between bushels and pounds for reporting our crabs. We have our crew count. We have the maximum crab pots on the water. And we also have a question of whether or not we eel for bait. If we move down the page more, we're going to see our fin fish fisher preferences. This is very similar to our blue crab preferences where we have our license, our no code where we fish, our check station if we're part of the striped bass program, our gear type, our crew count, and our last is a question that asks if we are done fishing for striped bass for the year. Now we have our fin fish commonly caught species section. As you can see, my common fin fish are striped bass and channel catfish, but if I wanted to add another, I would go over here to the right, click the add new button, select our species from the drop down. So I want to move down to the bottom of the list because I want to add white perch. And then I have the option of reporting my white perch in either pounds or bushels. I'm going to select pounds. I'm going to click the OK now that I'm finished. And you can see white perch is added to our list. If we move down the page a little bit further, the last thing we're going to see is our authorized representative for striped bass check-ins. Here, you can elect someone else to check in your striped bass for you. To edit my user, I'm going to move over and click on the pencil icon. And here you're going to see our username. 
field, note that the username needs to be unique. The best way to make a unique username is to add their name, the number four, and then your name. Then you can put in their first and last name and give them a password. Once we're done, we want to click Save. And now that we've reviewed our whole account, made the changes we wanted to make, we can click the Update Account button at the bottom. This will save our changes. Note that when the page refreshes, we're going to see a green box that it was successfully updated, or we can get a red box with specifics on what we need to change to get our account to save properly. Now that we're done, we're going to go to the top right hand corner and click the log out button and we're done for the day. Thank you for watching our video on how to set up the My Account preferences for the FACTS e-reporting system. Please check out the rest of our videos to learn more about e-reporting.